Hi, my name is Conal Alexander. I'm an isotope geochemist. The main focus of my work is trying to understand the very earliest history of the solar system. And to do this, I study chondritic meteorites. Chondrites are fragments of asteroids that orbit between uh, Mars and Jupiter and are thought to be the last vestiges of the swarm of planetesimals from which the terrestrial planets formed. They are often called cosmic sediments and are made up of a very diverse range of materials that, uh, from which that were basic building blocks from which everything in our solar system probably formed. As a result, uh, because I'm studying this very diverse material, I have to be a bit of a jack of all trades. Um, and so I'm working on materials that date from the very earliest solar system, and in some cases, even that predate the, the formation of the solar system. For instance, I work on pre-solar grains that form around red giant stars and supernova, and can tell us a lot about galactic chemical evolution, as well as stellar nuclear synthesis. I work on organic material in meteorites. This material may have formed in the molecular cloud from which the solar system formed, or it may have formed in the very earliest solar system. Either way, many people have speculated that it has uh, a certain uh, something to do with uh, the origin of life on Earth. And at the very least, it's certainly probably the material from which uh, the carbon and nitrogen, and et cetera, from which we are made. Uh, it's, that is with the material uh, that was accreted by the Earth and which ultimately came, formed us. Chondrites also contain water in them and may well have been the major source of water for the terrestrial planets. And so that's another uh, focus of my work. And finally, uh, the ma main material from which chondrites are formed, or, or the signature material from which chondrites are formed, are chondrules. These seem to have formed at relatively high temperatures in the early solar system and may have been the product of one of the most energetic processes in the early solar system. Uh, and we're trying to understand what that process was. At the moment it's still a mystery and has been a mystery for over a hundred years. So it's a major problem that I think we're making progress on. Anyway, ultimately the whole point of my research is to try and understand the very beginnings of our solar system and then how in general planets and planetesimals form not just in our solar system but probably in all forming solar systems.